So now in this video, we're going to take a look at the circuit I just came across. So I bought some LM431s. We'll talk about them coming up. First, we're going to measure the voltage at the power supply rail here to uh, show what the circuit does. So here you can see I have about 9.5 volts with my bench power supply at the rails. This is about the voltage of a 9 volt alkaline battery when it is new. Now, as you use it, its voltage drops down over time. And at some point, you got to decide the voltage is too low. And that'll probably be whenever your circuit stops working. But uh, this is a testing circuit, and so it's dipping down now. And you can see at about 7.75 volts, LEDs turn on. Anything below about that, the LEDs turn on at a higher voltage the LEDs go off and they're gonna stay off now so it would be a way to test a battery to see if its voltage is high enough compared to what you set it at this is adjustable this is the LM431 and what this component is is an adjustable precision Zener shunt regulator so it basically acts kind of like a Zener diode and looking at the pins here we can uh, see the flat side is facing us so the left pin is our reference pin and the data sheet says that is pin number two they labeled it pin number two I should say so the middle pin that is the anode and that is labeled as pin number three the pin on the right is the cathode and that is labeled as pin number one. Let's turn the uh, meter off here. So, let's zoom in here and uh, take a look at what we got here. So we have a voltage divider at the bottom, which we're going to yank for now. And we have a one kilo ohm resistor here. Exact value of resistance does not matter. Just remember it has to power the load and also current is going to flow through the component here to hold a voltage so it's going to like a Zener diode pass whatever current it needs to to hold a voltage at the uh, cathode up here so the cathode is going to the positive side just like with the Zener diode and then the anode is going to the negative side of the power supply just like a Zener diode but this one is adjustable this component and we're going to use a couple resistors. So I'm using a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor on the positive side of a voltage divider right there. So that was the value used in the uh, schematic that I came across for the circuit. And on the negative side, they, they had a, a few different values. I'm using a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor and that got me the voltage that we saw before so about 7.75 volts and uh, there we go didn't want to quite go in there for a bit so in any case that is it for the wiring oops I put that to the positive side that needs to go to the negative side right there so now we have a voltage divider positive and negative so we will zoom back again and we will test it out again turn the power on that is above it was uh at about our uh, point where the LED came on but I just put it up to 9.5 volts approximately right there and uh, we'll quickly go down and test that again and you can see it came on right right when it came on I stopped turning the dial the meter is a little bit behind so the number on the display there is a like a fraction of a second behind the uh, voltage that I actually set so in any case we're going to make a modification of this. Let's go back up to uh, 9.5 volts. And what we're going to do is yank this resistor out. And uh, LED stayed off. So that was 2.2 kilo ohms. We're going to take a 3 kilo ohm resistor. So again, this was not one of the values on there. But both of these resistors are close to two of the values on the uh, schematic that I got. And they listed the voltage. But as you can see, you can just swap them out and measure.
the exact voltage where the LED turns on. It's uh, pretty pretty simple. So again, about 9.5 volts. Let's lower it. So now we have a higher value resistor on the uh, negative side of the voltage divider. So it's actually going to be a lower voltage, as you can see here, before uh, the LEDs come on to indicate that the voltage is below what we set. And I think it's about 6.4 in that range. There we go. So 6.31 and uh, so somewhere in the 6.3 looks like, yeah about 6.4 somewhere around there. So any case that is uh, really it for this circuit. So as I said before this is a new component for me. It's uh, really early morning now. Uh, midnight passed a couple hours ago and uh, so technically I just got these components about eight hours ago or so and plus some other ones so I'm looking up what I want to do and this was a nice and simple schematic in my opinion this uh, circuit here and so I thought I would start with a preview with this but hopefully using this component I can come up with some more interesting circuits and stuff you hear about the uh, voltage uh, the shunt regulators you use inner diodes as shunt regulators and adjustable uh, voltage uh, sources and so I plan to do hopefully a number of videos on them and we'll see where it goes but in any case thanks for watching I will see you in the next video